Hello, I'm John Allen, riding my bicycle on Concord Avenue in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, with a camera facing rearward on my bicycle's rear rack and one facing forward on my helmet. Here, I'm riding through the large traffic circle, or rotary as we say in Massachusetts, at Alewife Brook Parkway. I'm merging nicely into the flow of traffic here, and this saves me from having to take the long way around on a shared-use path. A pedestrian is crossing in the crosswalk ahead. This crosswalk is also for a bikeway. With heavy bicycle traffic, it would completely clog the rotary. I make my way past stopped traffic to enter a bikeway, which is promoted as making bicycling safer and more attractive. However, there are 24 driveways and 8 streets that tee into this bikeway on this side of Concord Avenue, and there's a lot of turning traffic. The bicycle markings are to indicate to motorists that they should look back into their right rear blind spot for bicyclists. Between driveways and streets, the bikeway is behind a curb, as it is here. The van is going to turn right. So is the car behind me. The bikeway traps me to their right, and I have to look in every direction to make sure I won't have a collision. This green patch is a bus stop. More about bus stops later. This wide driveway has been fenced off, although the bicycle markings remain. The other driveway to the same parking lot has not been fenced off. Cambridge's bicycle coordinator has stated, and I quote, there is nothing about the design that changes where cyclists travel over a standard bicycle lane. That's reasonably accurate where there are no cross streets or driveways. Is it accurate at the bus stops, where bus passengers descend directly onto the bikeway? How about this? Residents have placed their trash barrels on the bikeway, so the city can conveniently pick up the trash. The bikeway, and I quote again, increases the visibility of the cyclist behind trash barrels as well as decreases the likelihood of other dangerous behaviors, such as motorists parking in the bike lane. But wherever there is a driveway or a cross street, the bikeway descends to roadway level, like right here, where there are driveways for several hundred feet. Now this is just a regular bike lane as it used to be before the raised bikeway was created and I take advantage of that to merge to the left to give myself more room to maneuver as a car is pulling out of a side street. That option would be denied me where the bikeway is raised because once I had merged to the left I could not get back up over the curb. Because the bikeway is behind a curb, motorists may think of it as a sidewalk and pull out across it to get a better view of cross traffic. The bicycle coordinator has stated, and I quote, Turning movements are always a concern on all roads, whether there are bicycle facilities or not. I agree, but a cyclist entering from one of the driveways ahead would have to lift the bicycle over a curb to use the bikeway on the other side or else ride the wrong way on this side. The other side borders a park and there are only a few crosswalks with access ramps. Because of the absence of cross traffic, the other side would have been suitable for a two-way bikeway which would have been preferred by casual cyclists who ride in the park. The city could have had that and also the standard bike lanes which existed previous to the reconstruction and which provided convenient and safe through travel and access to destinations on this side for utility and commuter cyclists. And now the bikeway transitions from sidewalk to street. There's another bus stop ahead followed by a double cross merge and just imagine the situation if a bus were discharging passengers. It's bad enough as it is. In normal overtaking, the gray car would hold a straight line and I'd pass when safe. 
here the driver is supposed to merge right looking for me in his right rear blind spot. How do I know that he hadn't just stopped for those crossing vehicles? The bike lane here is properly to the left of a right turn lane, but it's narrow thanks to an unnecessarily wide traffic island. With my rearview mirror, I can see that I am safer at its right side. As I cross Blanchard Road and enter Belmont, the travel lane becomes wider because the median is narrower, and I can keep outside the door zone at the left side of the bike lane. Here the video ends. Concord Avenue in Belmont is another and considerably happier story to be told at another time. Thanks for watching.